Andrea Ocasio-Cortez. She's breaking her silence now on the border crisis. She claims anyone who uses the term invasion or surge to describe what's happening at the border situation is being, quote, militaristic and pushing a white supremacist philosophy. Now, the congresswoman herself did use inflammatory language when describing former President Trump's border policy. She tweeted back in 2019, quote, these are concentration camps when describing facilities under President Trump. I want to bring in the power panel to break it all down. We've got Jason Meister, former Trump 2020 advisory board member, and Leslie Marshall, syndicated radio host and a Fox News contributor. Welcome to you both. Um, Leslie, good morning. W good morning. One good morning. might wonder how Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez would know what's happening at the border when she hasn't been there to see it herself firsthand. Well, you know what? I agree that she needs to go. Everybody needs to go. But at the same time, uh, there are a lot of politicians left and right last uh, four years and now during the Biden administration uh, that make comments. And I want to comment on a couple of her comments, if I may. Uh, one, uh, being, of Jew uh, being of Jewish ancestry, it really offends me and most Jews when anybody compares anything to concentration camps, the Holocaust. Uh, I'm sorry. There's just no comparison to that period. I'm Jewish uh, and I serve. That, this Leslie. is <laughs> okay. Uh, to, I didn't you. know that. I didn't know yeah, that. I'm I, with you. I'm on your that half point. sister. <laughs> <laughs> I'm your half sister. I have one, one Jewish parent, one not. <laughs> um, okay. Second, um, you know, a surge is you know literally an increase in numbers. There is a surge, especially in unaccompanied minors, and we actually have seen an increase in unaccompanied minors uh, that you know dropped in March, went back in April, then surged again, if you will, uh, late winter, and another uh, spike or surge. It's not what you call it, like I always say. It's what you do about it. But I would agree with her on not calling these uh, children insurgents. Uh, Webster's Dictionary defines them uh, an insurgent as a rebel or a revolutionary. These children certainly aren't that, and I don't feel they're invading. And then lastly, I do believe if they were white kids coming in through Canada, it might be perceived differently than brown children coming through our southern border. So, Jason, I got to ask you, you know, AOC says using the term surge, uh, not even surge, she says insurgent, right? or an invasion is militaristic and it has white supremacist undertones. Who is using those words? Yeah, look, there, there's no, the idea that this is white supremacy or that the use of these words is, is white supremacy is ridiculous. Look, the bottom line is we're 70 days into this administration and there's three times the number of children in cages under Biden than there were under Trump. Uh, this is a surge. Not only is it a surge, but it's a humanitarian crisis that was brought by the camp, Joe Biden's campaign rhetoric, as well as the executive orders that he signed into law, reversing the construction of the border wall, catch and release, halting deportations, shutting down some parts of our immigration law enforcement. He promised 11 million illegal aliens during a pandemic citizenship, free health care, uh, uh, Social Security, Medicare, when Democrats, including Joe Biden, told us to shut down our schools, shut down our businesses, shut down yeah. our restaurants, and all at the same time, they're opening up the border, the southern border. So, yeah, I so mean, Jason, to your point, a lot of Americans actually agree with you. Majority of adults disapprove of Biden's handling of immigration overall. Um, they agree with how he's managed the pandemic, but disagree with what he's doing at the border. Only 27 percent of independents say they approve, and just 5 percent of Republicans say the same, meaning they support Biden's moves so far at the border. Leslie, is there a way forward for Biden to repair the trust? Oh, absolutely. He's only been in office a couple of months, okay? You got to look at what did he inherit and what kind of decision is going forward. A, a number of things here. First, this is not just Joe Biden alone, nor was it Donald Trump's alone. Uh, you have Congress, and this is an issue by Democrats and Republicans, and both politicians from both chambers will say this is an issue that constantly gets kicked down the road, and it can't be kicked down the road. It's problematic because it is such a huge, comprehensive piece of legislation that would need to be passed, and, and I think they need to do it in pieces. I think that, right. you know, let's put, put me on the record. A year from now, I think you're going to see a very different uh, situation, very different photos at the border, and in addition to that, a very different approval rating on immigration for President Biden.
Leslie, Joe Biden inherited the safest border in modern American history. Uh, it was his rhetoric and all these executive orders that he signed the law that reversed all the border security that we had when he took over. All right, Jason, we got to leave it there. Thanks to both of you, Leslie and Jason, for joining us today. We love hearing your perspectives and hearing you guys hash it out. Thanks for having Have me. Have a good day.